Do you remember the big yellow Mercedes that Barry adopted a couple of weeks ago? Well, we're back again today because we're going to see if we can make the thing start. A new battery, some oil, some spark plugs, see if this thing actually works or if it's just a big giant yellow white paperweight. Not a wafer paint, like I nearly said. A wafer paint. Good. <laughs> Is this in neutral? Yeah. Ah. Is the handbrake on? Are there any blocks over there? No. We are blockless. Come on. I just, yeah, I thought I'd leave that back a bit so, you know, obviously. Well, so it's got something to catch on when it does finally explode yeah, yeah. backwards. Explode. Yes, explode. <laughs> to me. Oh my God, put my foot through the, <laughs> don't put, the don't, garage don't door. Don't put your foot from the garage door. <laughs> I actually can't go. Oh. Hopefully there's a bit of wood still behind there's it. A bit of, is there a bit of wood there? Uh, kind of-ish. That'll do. <laughs> well, that'll do. That'll do, big. Oh. Might need a torch and a lot of luck. Yeah, mostly luck. I don't know why you shut this, Barry. What do you mean? Someone, use my phone torch someone the shut the bonnet and the bonnet catch doesn't release on this. So, stage one of service in the car. Get the bonnet open. Yeah. I'm going to use my phone. <laughs> right. So attempt number two, wiggling a bent coat hanger did not work even slightly. Now this is attempt number three. Oh, is it number three? Because this I tried to use as well. Oh, through the thing. Didn't yeah, work yeah. either. I reckon going up and in front of the radiator might do the trick. Oh, that works a treat if there wasn't actually this plastic Bits of guard. Metal. Actually, if I move that plastic guard out of the way, uh, Phillips screwdriver, please. So we're in, all we needed to do, it turned out, was pull the bonnet release. <laughs> no, it still would have needed the Allen key or at least. Could you push that catch on that side, Matteo? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've forgotten that was falling apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see all the, the stuff falling out of the back of the bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. That doesn't look like it's going to stay up. It's fine. It's totally fine. There's no wind today, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't touch that. Don't touch that. There we Actually, go. Today, yeah, yeah. Just that's fine. Down. It's absolutely fine. It's, I'm just curious yeah. about the uh, um, weight saving going on down here. Just, like so just, just, to, just to confirm, <laughs> only one microphone today. Yes. Well, there's a second one, oh. but I heard you go to the toilet on the last one, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did try talking over it. Yeah, like that miracle paint stuff. It yeah. It's amazing. Oh, really? Because what it actually does is it turns the rust into almost like a cement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and the right. <laughs> None of this is useful. <laughs> but I was thinking I could use it on the battery trees. So. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Right, anyway, let me go and get some of the parts Right, in. yes. Right. I think the first thing we'll start doing is draining the oil out, because then that can happen while we're doing other things. Have you got your jack with you? Yes. Cool. That's, um, not very pretty, but at least it's, I don't know, not mine. Um, okay, so, Barry, you should probably be seeing this for future reference, but I guess he'll watch the video later, up my views. Here is the sump plug. Oh, weird. Okay, that's now slack enough to undo by hand. So now, somewhere around here is a drip tray. I think uh, standing in front of it. I'm going to get Barry to touch because he's got gloves. Because I didn't want to go and make my back of my, my nice car not nice, the drain thing is in there. Ah, ah, black sack. Yeah, black sack of doom. Very sensible. Yes. I'm just going to put on the uh, the rubber gloves of doom yes. as well. Just. Um, I'm surprised you're still willing to touch those after Heathrow. <laughs> Hey, that was fine, that turned out, in the end. They let you out in the end. They did, it was fine. Thank you for that, Matt. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, can you believe that was eight years ago? I know, I keep seeing it on Facebook. It's... Oh. <laughs> don't, don't put your head in the... <laughs> don't put my head in the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll be it. When you undo that, black horrible goo stuff will fall out. Ah, oh, the black horrible goo stuff. Try not to drop that into the... Uh... Into the... Uh, well, I've got a replacement. Oh, fine, okay. Yeah, I've, I've, I ordered one through with a That's new phase. seal. Yeah and uh, try not to get it down your sleeve because it will come out quite fast. I've dropped it in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, because you ordered a spare one. <laughs> you know you said don't drop it in there? You dropped it in there. This is, uh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty black and horrible. It's very black and horrible. Well, we'll leave that to drain then. Well, we'll wait, let it drain down a uh, bit air, more. Air filter. Air filter. Sorry. Yeah, we'll whip the air filter off, have a look at that, see what state it's in. Yeah, that sounds like a decent plan. Let's see if anything's living in here, shall we? Or has lived I'm in here. I'm going to say a squirrel has been in there for some time. Oh, please. Squirrel, I'm going to say mouse. I hope, I hope something jumps I out and attacks you. That would be so funny. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. No, I see someone else has suffered with they couldn't find an air filter problem as well. <laughs> there's no air filter. Uh, luckily, there's not any uh, any bits there's, of there's nothing squirrels in there either. No squirrels no. made made a home in there either. I mean, there's probably a few viruses living in there. But... Nah, petrol cools oh, my yeah, stuff. No, that's that's, that's that, really actually. clean, actually. It's really clean on the inside. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but there is no air filter. Well, there's there's a screen here, so anything bigger than an acorn won't go through. Which is probably fine. Yeah, this is true. I and mean, it's not we're going anywhere right now. Exactly. So, we, yeah, we can live with this. Fine. But the only thing I am worried about is this is completely and utterly perished. Can you see? Um, it's a little perished, yes, yeah, certainly. It's a little perished? <laughs> we could unclip it. Yeah. And we could... Oh, chop a little bit off. Chop it off, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then pop it back on again. I didn't bring my special um, clampy things for undoing them, though. Okay. Okay, so, so we'll ignore that for now, yeah, and we'll ignore the pipe. We'll ignore. Because the air filter's not filtering, we don't really need that vacuum pipe either, so it's fine. Oh, I don't think anyone's called them. Anti-clockwise. Yes, lefty-loosey-tighty-lighty. <sighs> Mind your knuckles. That, who needs knuckles, eh? Oh, I want to say, actually, on the last video, mm -hmm. thank you to whoever it was that suggested something to actually clean the mould off the interior seats, because it seems to have done a really nice job. Oh, what did they say to use? Uh, I, I've got it on a can inside, but I'll grab it in a second so you can have a look. Mould be gone? No. No, it's it's just some sort of code name thing, and I um, never really. LB, M M B G mold be gone. Also, to whoever said uh, my father has such a fun bubbly person <laughs> uh, on the on the, on the last video, right. you don't live with him. Oh, what? <laughs> if you empty a vacuum cleaner, does that make you a vacuum cleaner? Oh, <laughs> profound. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Did whatever you do, don't touch the silver top at the end. Yeah, because you know you'll probably die. Alright. Ooh, really, really that is. I'm gonna show it to a big camera. Yeah. That is a Black. bit rusty. It looks like it's running pretty rich. Probably just mm. running around the yard for a little it's a bit. Very sparked plug. It's done all it's done all the sparking it's gonna do. Yeah, uh, we'll probably clean up, but right, we're not gonna bother. Uh, yeah, fair point. Um, okay. I didn't bring any spark plug gappy things. So we're going to assume that the gap is... That's, that's about... It's about right. Yeah, looks perfect. Well, um, I'm looking at these, these leads oh and thinking... Oh, my God. I wish we'd bought new leads. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Look, it's almost safe. On your hands. Indoors. Oh. Well, he's not wrong. It's not perfect. It's got a bit of wear on it, but it'll certainly do for our, yeah. our, yeah. our purposes. Uh, tea, very, very strong. And made uh, of coffee. <laughs> Mostly. Coffee is also good. Black coffee is fine. Yeah, I've got a... Fuel filter. Okay, do we well, know where they... Can get an oil filter. Oil filter is probably more important. Well, no, I don't think they had one. Oh, right, okay. So currently we're trying to work out where on earth the fuel filter on a 250 W123 uh, lives. All I can find is a 230 fuel injection system diagram. There doesn't seem to be any information in the world about oh, a 230. You found it? Oh, no, you found the fuel line. That's less exciting. Less, less exciting, definitely. On my one, which is the K-Jet, yeah. this here is the bottom of the fuel tank, there's a pipe coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> we may mean to manually follow this pipe, uh, but that has got the fuel pump and the filter and an accumulator all in a big block, which is costing about £700 if you need to replace it. Yeah. This... One of us is going to have to army crawl under the car. Well done, yes. Matthew. Well, thank you for volunteering. Very good volunteering work. <sighs> Did you right. find it? No. Okay. <laughs> Two options. Ignore it. Yep, that's my favourite option. I like, I like that option too. I've Googled it and everything refers either to the diesel or the fuel injection. There's no reference on the planet to the location of the carburetted car's fuel filter. Okay, let's try is it. Is it tighter than we thought? It's... <laughs> right, I'm trying to go that way. Because to me, that would be righty... Lefty loosey Lefty tight. loosey. Lefty lo So, like that. Just like that. Uh, uh, not, uh, you you uh, see that? It's a dead one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, see that? that? It's a dead one, one of them. them. <laughs> <laughs> has it got, hang on, has it got a, a bolt on the bottom, like a, a socket bolt? Oh, yes, it has. That's it. We left, uh, oh, Ooh. got it, caught it, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm drain it into the, um... It smells of fox poo down here quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, just over there, look. Can you see, there's actually a fresh piece of fox poo. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. It's very and fresh. And right behind you as well, just there, that's not fox food. What have you been doing? <laughs> oh, that's oh, gross. This looks like it's a non-disposable filter. Proper mm. green eco stuff. So I'm going to use a splash of petrol in the bottom of here and give it a bit of a... Oh, put the lid on, put the lid on. That's nice plastic lid. A bit of a sploosh around. That's right. Ooh. It's almost like you've done this before, Matt. Washed in petrol, look at that, shiny and new. The black goop falls out. We've got ourselves a nice new filter. We'll give that whoops, give it a few minutes to dry out before we put it back in the engine. Five minute crafts eat your heart out. Bada bing! Bada boom! Oil filter done. Right. Now if you're going to light that, light that to burn the excess fuel off, give it a minute to vapor, uh, to vapor off. Let's not light fuel, fuel please. Because um, obviously we don't want petrol in the car's oil, engine oil because that will dilute it. Especially next to that thing. What thing? Well no, probably won't cat poo. it's too soggy. <laughs> it's not no, cat the, poo. The garage. Oh, oh, no, I'm going to get a tune out of this. Blue paper. I thought, I thought the song that we did was quite good. I mean, well, I'm surprised it didn't show up, frankly. Uh, uh, well, well, probably because we never recorded it. Well, that might be the reason, mm. yeah. See, Matt, look. Yeah, that is, that is... You mean this? Whoopsie daisy. That's, that's leaking quite a lot. Well, fortunately, that, that wood is fairly absorbent, so it's soaking up an awful lot of the... I know! That was, my, that was part of my cunning plan. So we'll go now you just need your, your inbuilt talent. This is moving the GoPro. You're just moving everything up. Are you, aren't you finished yet? This is, I'm finding this quite sort of, you know, sort of almost meditative, actually. Ther yeah, therapeutic. Just it is, actually. Watching it's, it. Just, oh, it just it. runs, and then it runs, and it's, it's going to spill, and then it runs. I'm just getting it to the exact where it won't spill. The perfect because you're complaining point. about actually how fast I was doing it, so I thought I'd actually go faster. Behind the scenes at McDonald's emptying their trays. <laughs> we've got this new wall from. If it was a diesel, we could be banging that in the um, fuel tank. Mm. Is that the way? Ah! Okay. And he's done. There <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be that you're in charge of the safety of children, Matt. Hey, hey, when am I in the chair? No, I, I put him in charge. When I'm, when I'm there, I relinquish your responsibility to the ten-year-old. As if by magic. Yeah, I'm going to call that I'm good. I'm going to say that. Because that's going to come up a little bit more. So we're sorted now. Just yeah. get rid of the horrible black stuff down there. You, I'll leave that with you. You can borrow that if you want. Can I? You can borrow the dish, yes. Ooh. Means I want well, no, no part of emptying. <laughs> no, no. Awesome. Right, I won't bother tightening it up all as it should be, but... Not on the base, not yet anyhow. Oith and posy. Battery is where the electricity lives. This, the sparks live in here. It's full of danger. Okay. But, danger, so, danger. but so is the bit your dad's doing, which is full of explody danger. This is full of sparky danger. Okay, um, if you put those two together, it's not good. No, they, they come together, they want to be together, but you shouldn't let them be together because they will cause trouble. You can pass those pliers, because these plastic um, protection things are astonishingly tight. Because one of them's a Capulet and the other one's the... Montague. The other one, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and their families. I've, I've, seen, um, I've seen Nomeo and Julia. <laughs> Would you like a thing with a red cross on it? Yes, please. You can pretend you're an ambulance. Would you like a black one with a minus on it? You can pretend yeah. you're a hearse. Don't drop it. Oh. There we go, the first petrol going into the murk, the yellow murk of doom. It's very happy. This is my new job in life. Standing by a car. I am a, I am a petrol pump. <laughs> <laughs> like a weird gnome. <laughs> That's my mum. <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> well, thank you ah. to whoever uh, recommended Brisk Vif Auto because it did a really good job of sorting out the interior, which was utterly disgusting before. Now it's only mildly disgusting. Try and turn it oh, off. It smells nice. But it does smell very nice and fresh and clean. And also, it's. I have cleaned it quite a bit. So. It does look really lovely in here now. I'm taking the front seat out. I've just noticed this, head, this header panel. Uh, yeah, that's why I was looking at new roofs. That is somewhat warped. Yeah. I've never seen one go quite like that before. No. So yeah, possibly yeah, a new so roof. You can see the bolts where the uh, wind... The sunroof bolts in, yeah. Uh, bolts in. 
Yeah, you can. That's very rusty. <laughs> the only thing now stopping to start the car is the fact that Barry, this, this. yeah, Barry's lost the keys. No, I'm not lost yeah, they're quite bouncy, aren't they? Yeah, they are very bouncy. <laughs> so now, now we've located the keys oh, after a mere. Um, <laughs> right, I'm not getting any lights coming on the dashboard. I noticed that because all the lights came on before. Put it back into park again because it should really only start in park. Uh, okay. So I'm not getting any, I'm getting the temperature is obviously staying down. Yeah, the clock has the moved tank, around. The, the fuel tank is showing that there's a smidgen mm -hmm. fuel. Yeah. Um, okay, here we go. It's cranking healthy. The engine oil went all the way up to 45 then. Oh really, pressure, so you got engine pressure, oil pressure, sorry. Hang on, let's pull a plug out and see if it's sparking when you do that. All right, if you want to give it a turn. Yep. Yep, we're getting a spark, so there is power going through. Give it another whirl if you want. I can't smell any petrol. I don't know if it's a mechanical pump or an electric pump on this car. I can't hear an electric pump buzzing. No, I can't. It's possible, yeah, it's so low, having been sat for so long, that two gallons isn't even registering. Go on in. Yeah. I could get some more fuel. I don't know if that's a problem or not. Well, it could be the fuel pump. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Give it one more whirl. Oh, 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 oh. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive, I tell you! <laughs> well, that's good. Go on, say it. Gordon's alive! Gordon's alive! <laughs> <laughs> life you can hear there's no air filter in it because it's not as yeah. smooth as it could be but you know it could be an awful lot worse Yay! it's as smooth as a nice low grit sound paper exactly one grit <laughs> well, Nick shot up in my face then. <laughs> Do you want to stick it into, into drive for a second and just see if it'll move forward a, a jolt? I think the exhaust's blowing a tad. Do the brakes work? <laughs> Do you like your garage doors? <laughs> into drive? Oh, it drives! Hey! <laughs> Thankfully, there's a block of wood behind the car. Block of wood, Barry. Oh, mate. Hey. Well, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Hey. Happy days. So, probably you want to be um, taking this cover off the uh, air cleaner again, and uh, air cleaner. Air filter. Air filter, well, this, yeah, air cleaner, air filter, same difference. And giving it all a bit of a clean up under there because it looks like it might be sticking. That might turn, just turn the key. They're very um, springy, the seats. They're super springy. Wee.
nearly there. No. Okay. Uh, it's probably blowback because it's not quite. It's nearly going, but it's not quite. Okay. We won't try and restart it now. We'll put more petrol in it, we'll clean up the carburetor, we'll come back and reinvestigate this some more at a later date in the near future. So, this thing works. This thing actually runs and runs quite nicely as well, yeah. by the sound of it. So that's all good. It doesn't want to restart though, which is less good, but we're going to put that down to needing the carburetor, needing a bit of a clean up and low fuel, because it started when I poured poor petrol in there to kind of kickstart it and get it going, and then it started drawing it through. So. Maybe just more petrol will help in the first place. I think so. I think, well, yeah, we possibly just need to push it through. I was seeing a little bit of smoke coming through down here. So we think it might have an exhaust leak so in there. Might be or it sounded a bit like there was an exhaust leak somewhere near the downpipe. And it was definitely running kind of rich because, well, it hasn't run in years. Mm -hmm. My car now smells absolutely delightful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I've just fumigated my car. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's, the, you know, that's the, looking on the bright side. I yeah. Think. But I've got to say, it starts. Yeah. I mean, it's cost, I mean, that's so far, We've got about four litres of water out from the dehumidifier. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you did that, yeah. Uh, did that uh, and cleaned the interior uh, uh, quite a lot um, before the engine parts arrived. Um, so I've spent my monthly allowance on, on engine parts. <laughs> pocket money is spent. Um, my pocket money is spent, but it, it worked. So now I need to start planning on what the next bits to do are. Well, um, yeah, the, the lights and things will work, don't they? The lights work. Did we do a horn test on it? We did do a horn test the other, the, on the last... Yeah, yeah, we've done the horn test. So um, we know the horn works, we know the lights work. So really, uh, um, book it in front of OT, so what's wrong with it? Ooh, that's going to be a big old list, isn't it? Well, not necessarily. Although technically it's 1978, you don't actually need an MOT. I, if we think true. it's safe, we could just drive it around the block. Well, I think we should come and do a video of cleaning that engine because that is yeah, yeah, yeah. that is meant to be silver. It's going to be a long video. That Let's... needs to be cleaned. The, the actual battery tray itself, I think, needs to be a bit, um, bit of rust proofery. Rust proofery massively. Yeah. The rest of the actual new HT leads actually is, is pretty good. Except yeah. For obviously that bottle the, the, hand, the engine needs sourcing. Yeah. New HT leads. Um, Definitely. New rotor arm. Yeah. I, I would say if it's got water in it at all, drain all the water out because if it freezes, that will crack your engine. Yeah. Um, and then just replace it with actual antifreeze. Yep. Because yep. we, we don't know what was in there, do we? We have no idea uh, what was in there. Because the other thing I need to do is clear out and get the um, sunroof sorted out. You, we can live with that for the time being. Yeah, true. Yeah, just don't true. open it. Yeah. Right, well, so we, know that, so we know the Mercedes works. It drives under its own power, goes forwards and backwards. Now we just need to make it less horrible. Right, join us again next time with other cars and other things. And this time it was the Mercedes. Next time, who knows what it will be. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.